Welcome to What's Up Pasadena. Looking for something to do? Pasadena has places and events galore to guarantee a fun-filled summer. Today is the Pasadena Playhouse's centennial celebration. We are having a block party along with the Playhouse District Association, and we thought the best way to celebrate 100 years of this amazing, important institution was to open our doors wide, invite the whole community to come and celebrate together on the streets of Pasadena. We have over 50 participating organizations, hundreds of artists in the community at all levels from little ballerinas that are three years old to professionals on our main stage. Um, we really wanted to be a community-wide celebration of culture, which is really what the Playhouse and the Playhouse District are all about. So we have um, two stages. We have a family stage with programming all day for families. We have a main stage in the back with bands, with drummers, with dancers, with anything you can imagine, theater, um, all from different groups in the community. We also have food trucks for everyone who's looking to have food. We have beer. You can walk around the street on El Molino and have a beer. It's fantastic. We also have activities from different cultural organizations and different organizations in Pasadena from um, Musique Pasadena and Pasadena Pops Petting Zoo. We have museums all over Pasadena, LA Zoo. We have tons of activities going on all day long. Our mission here at the Playhouse is simple. We exist to enrich our community. And so we do that through theater, but what, a, what better way than to gather the community to open our doors wide and say everyone come and celebrate together uh, the great culture and, and history of this historic institution. The Pasadena Playhouse is very unique in that it started back in, back in 1917, a group of community members gathered in a house just down the street from here and said, we believe this great community of Pasadena needs a great theater. And this was at a time where, where we're sitting now was all sort of orange groves and, and there weren't buildings around. Um, and they understood that every great community needs great cultural institutions and we were one of the original great cultural institutions in the city and they came together they raised the money and they created the pasadena community playhouse uh, within about 10 years they went door to door raised some money they bought the land we're sitting on now and this building was built which is one of the most state-of-the-art theaters at the time and within 10 years, we had world premiere plays by Eugene O'Neill, by Tennessee Williams. Martha Graham, the famous dancer, was the first person on our stage. By the late 20s, we opened a theater school, which, which had the likes of Robert Preston, Ruth Buzzy, Sally Struthers, Dustin Hoffman, Gene Hackman. It existed all the way from the late 20s all the way into the early 60s. It was one of the leading acting schools in America. And all of this was right here on El Molino in Pasadena. If you think about what was going on 100 years ago, uh, there weren't a lot of theaters going on. The big theaters in town, the second oldest is about 50 years. And so we really have been around for a whole lot of things going on in the world. If you think about audiences that have been coming up these steps right here for a very long time, seeing classics, seeing new work, seeing plays, and that's amazingly unique. And also on top of it, it always had a community-centric mission. Um, which was different than some other theaters. In the very beginning of our time on stage, you saw professional actors next to community members. We look at the Playhouse both as being a, a very hyper-local community and a community institution, but also a national institution. Plays that have started the Playhouse have gone on to Broadway over our history many times. Yet at the same time, we, we have programs like Community at Play where we bring uh, kids and, and different service organizations in our community to come see the plays and the work we do here. This year we took the entire seventh grade class of PUSD to see Pirates of Penzance, and we're going to continue to do that in the future. So we're really about serving the, the broadest section of our community to fulfill our mission. When our country is, is quite divided, um, we feel the, the need for theater and the need for culture more than ever. The idea of theater, the idea that strangers in a community come together and sit in a dark theater together to experience together, to hear stories, to laugh together, to cry together, to put themselves in other shoes, to be challenged together, it's essential. It's, it's, it's so, sort of base in all of us, and I think there's a human need for it, which is why theater and people gathering together to hear stories will never go away, in my opinion. Through Netflix, through HBO, through television, through movies, this place existed. This place existed before that. Theaters existed since the ancient Greeks, because there's a human need to come together, and that's really our role in this community, is bringing people together as many as we can um, to their playhouse to gather.